Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Um, a friend of mine is buying a new car, so I thought it'd be a great idea to um, give him a little uh, start car starter kit. So we decided um, that we're not gonna we're not going to spend a lot and um, to just make do with whatever we have lying around the house, whatever extra items that we have lying around the house. Um, so that way we keep the cost down to um, buying what o to only buying what we really need to buy. So I put together a a list of what I think um, he needs in the car. So the first is um, an organizer for the ORCR, which is you know it's just something like this, um, like a little accordion file where I can put um, photocopies of the OR and CR that um, he needs to have in his car. Um, um, I'm not gonna give him one because he already has um, uh, something like that um, at home, which he can just uh, repurpose for for the car. Um, I also suggest that you only put the uh, photocopies in the car and then keep the originals at home. So in case your car gets stolen, um, you still have the original uh, paperwork at home, you know. Um, and then next, um, uh, charging cable, self-explanatory. Um, he has his own charging cable, so he can just use his own. And then um, for an umbrella, I have, um, you know, we get these uh, free umbrellas. You usually get the free umbrellas um, from various um, companies and events as freebies. And then, uh, so I'll I'll go through the other things. Okay. Um. Oh, before before I forget, um, for the car hammer and uh, jumper cables, which I think he needs. Um, I don't have them, so we'll probably just buy them online. Um, they're not really that expensive. I, I saw the, I, I saw um, them on Shopee being sold for just around 100 pesos each. So the car hammer um, is something that... So if you are ever in an accident and um, your seat belt is stuck um, or you can't get out, um, of the car because you can't open your door. So the car hammer has um, a cutter that can that can cut your seat belt, and the car hammer um, can shatter the the um, car window, so so that you can get out, you know. Um, and then jumper cables um, to start your car in case it doesn't want to start. Okay, so we'll go through the other things. Okay, so of course umbrella, most important thing. You don't want to you know um not have an umbrella when it's raining um and then i also prepared these um the, this folder and this clear book for him so for this clear book um i'm planning you know to have so uh, this is this is where he can keep all his official paperwork so all the original copies he can just put in in here so for the orcr all the other paperwork um that he has and then um I haven't labeled this because we still don't know um, uh, the car's um, license plate number, so he can just write that in himself. And then um, for this um, folder, um, so this is where he can keep all the insurance paperwork, and then this is where he, he can keep all the maintenance, uh, repairs, and upgrades, and receipts, and any major purchases. So you can just um, have them here and then he can um i printed this um vehicle maintenance log which is which i just created um in word so it, it has um of the date the description um the shop mechanic and uh, notes or the cost you can, you can just quickly log it so um if he wants to know how much he's already spent uh, maintaining the car you can just do a quick um uh glance and he'll have an idea instead of having to go through each of the paperwork that, that that's filed okay um, and then um, next I have this um, it's also a, a a notebook that I got um, in which I just um, there are several sections in the notebook so I just quickly lab labeled them maintenance toll records and um, gas and mileage records so uh, for the maintenance section um, so I put I just put a list of the um, 
preventive maintenance um, uh, when when he has to do the uh, maintenance routine maintenance and then um, the next page is um, so that he can keep track when he replaces the batteries so because it has happened to me that um, I forget uh, well in my mind I just replaced the battery like two years ago but in real in reality I am um, it has it's almost been five years since I last replaced the battery so this because I didn't keep track um, I forgot so that it was you know um, it was time to replace the battery so I got caught unaware um, so this will actually help so um, at least he has an idea uh, when when to replace a battery um, batteries are replaced usually every four to five years um, you know you have to replace them around every four to five years the the that's the end of life for the batteries so uh, it's just a quick vlog so that he can remember and then I also put in the um, Motolite um, hotline um, this is what I personally use for example if I'm um, driving and the battery su suddenly dies um, this has actually saved me um, I called the number and they were able to deliver a new battery and replace the battery in like two to three hours it's a handy um, number to have um, without having to google it and then and then on the next page I have the car registration which you're supposed to do every year um, so but who knows they might change it hopefully but for now it's um, annual so um, you just, it's just uh, somewhere for him to list um, the years that he has done the car registration the date which branch and put some notes and then um, for the toll records and the gas and mileage records um, those are I, I left those blank we don't usually keep track of um, the toll and the gas and gas um, mileage records but just in case um, for example there are times when people ask us to do something and um, or we need to keep a record because um, whatever we spend will get reimbursed it's handy to have a place to write down um, all the information that you know that you need so this is what the, that notebook is for um, and next we have this um, post-it um, notepad this is just a small notepad that I got a few Christmases ago um, this is for those times when you know he needs to write something down and give it to someone else for example if he needs to write down his cell phone number and give it to someone else you know I don't want him to be um, uh, tearing a page off of this notebook so that's what you know that's what this um, little notepad is for and then um, of course you need pens to write with so these are just you know freebie pens um, and then um, for you know first aid I have um, alcohol and band-aids and um, uh, cotton buds so there's that because you always need it and tape because you know tape is always useful um, if you find yourself you know um, in a pinch for example if um, something's broken a strap broke or um your bag broke a box broke you know anything breaks and you kind of wanted to hold together until you get home tape so what i did is um um i actually put in um, um a paper clip at the end so that you know he'll always know that so that you know you'll always know um, when where the tape starts so it's easy to get tape every time um, and then of course with the tape and everything you also you'll also need scissors because you might need to cut something um, what else um, tissues and wet wipes because you'll you know you have to you have to have something to wipe off um, dirty hands or spills and things like that and speaking of cleaning the car 
um, I'm also including this uh, microfiber cloth which you know I just had lying around the house um, extra and um, actually this one um, I got this from um, Sizen if I remember um, and I really like this um, when I bought this I actually bought several and this is this is an extra one so I'm giving it um, to my friend um, I find this really useful um, for example if you're uh, if you're waiting um, at the red light and you you know you're gonna be waiting for like two minutes or three minutes um, this is you know just get this out and you just wipe the dashboard wipe wipe whatever knows whatever place is dusting the car and, and this will get the this will get the dust and it's easy to clean to clean you just take this off and then you can uh, you know throw this in the wash you can wash it and then when once once it's dry you can just put this back um, it's very easy and just I have this um, at um, in the side of the car what else um, so I'm also giving him this cloth this is just an old um, uh, you know um, sarong cloth but the cloth that I had lying around I got on the beach all, uh, years ago um, this is just you know uh, just in case he needs an extra blanket or um, he needs to wrap something or cover something it's just for emergencies um, which you know it could be very useful and then um, I'm also adding a few um, echo bags uh, just because a lot of places right now don't um, don't use plastic bags anymore so if you don't have echo bags if you don't have echo bags um, you'll have to pay extra for the plastic bags so having echo bags um, ready and available will save money and also save the environment and then lastly I'm also giving him this um, uh, Skosh uh, magic mount cell phone uh, holder um, this is actually um, very useful this one I have and I got this from the digital walker sale um, a few months ago um, so so what you do is you you um, stick uh, one of these either this the smaller one or the bigger one on your phone you stick it on your phone and then mount this on the car um, and then um, whenever you you want to place your your phone onto the car mount you just you know it's just a magnet this is this is the car mount this is the magnet it just it magnetizes it and it and your phone sticks um, to the holder and it won't budge so it's there and then when you're done driving and you want to take your phone out you just pull your phone like a like you're pulling out a magnet it's that simple uh, there's no need to uh, fumble around with the uh, with a car uh, with a cell phone car holder like um, the old ones that where you just need to we still have to open things and and close it and whatever um, it takes up a lot of time this is very easy and very convenient and it's worth the money especially that I got it at 50% off so you know this is you know um, I really recommend getting something like this um, for for the car another thing that I'd add is to have an overnight bag in the car um, that's because here in Manila um, sometimes we do get stuck for example, if it's um, if the roads are flooded and you're not able to pass through the roads, um, so you end up either staying at the office or staying at a friend's house or going to a hotel or something. Um, it's nice to have um, an extra set of clothes. It's nice to have, you know, um, your toothbrush and things like that. Um, so, um, so that's something um, I I also have in my car. I also keep an overnight bag in my car um, and then uh, what else oh um, other people um, suggest um, storing water and food um, I don't really do that because we just usually drive around Metro Manila and I don't think we'll ever you know be stranded in within Metro Manila there's like a 7-eleven in every corner so um, I don't think uh, we'll have any problem with like, food and um, water or freezing to death here in Manila. Um, um, maybe, you know, um, keep another wallet um, in the car with like maybe a few hundred pesos worth. So just in case 
um, you forgot your wallet, you still have money for, you know, incidentals, food, and stuff like that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, leave a comment if you have um, anything to add. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Um,